want to familiarize my followers with uh, the freeze-dried foods that I'm using. I mentioned in a recent video that I'm trying to give my fish uh, more and more natural foods as opposed to uh, processed foods such as uh, pellets and sticks and so on. So anyway, these are uh, some of the freeze-dried foods I'm having a lot of success with. Uh, there's uh, the freeze-dried brine shrimp, and it comes in the shape of a cube. Very, very convenient to feed your fish. Uh, another one is uh, freeze-dried ocean plankton. Fish love these also. And uh, for the larger size fish, there's the freeze-dried 100% krill. Now you'll notice uh, this container has all of them. There's no additives or preservatives. It's all natural food that is freeze-dried. And these are natural foods that uh, fish uh, eat in their natural environment. So uh, uh, I'm very positive on this type of uh, nutrition. And I've been seeing some excellent results too. Now there are some uh, challenges with uh, targeting the food, getting it to your, your uh, fish, which I'll cover in a second. But I might mention that uh, all of these foods are readily available on, uh, on uh, eBay. I think that's where I got them, or even Amazon.com. Uh, and uh, I much prefer uh, the quality and the much lower cost from uh, some of these uh, uh, off brands that perhaps you haven't uh, heard before, as opposed to San Francisco brand, for example, which uh, I found to be very expensive relative to these brands. And in fact, uh, I find these these uh, brands have a lot less uh, uh, dusting and broken down freeze-dried organisms in the containers. One of the challenges I found with feeding freeze-dried fish is, excuse me, freeze-dried uh, uh, krill and uh, ocean plankton and and uh, brine shrimp to my fish is getting the food down since it uh, it uh, is dry and floats. So uh, I found this uh, fruit infuser on Amazon, and I'll provide a uh, link to it. And what I've added here are a couple of uh, coated fishing lures with the tops cut off. Then there's a, you put in the food, you put in the cap, snap on the plastic cap. After the food, you fill the food into the infuser. You can see it has a fishing line. And uh, I use this uh, plastic clip to suspend the food in the water, which I'll show you in a few minutes. Very simple, very inexpensive. And again, I'll provide a link. For some of my larger aquariums, I have uh, overflow boxes. And, and uh, given that the freeze-dried food floats, I had to find a way to uh, uh, get it to sink so the fish could eat it before it got uh, uh, sucked into the overflows. And also, as we all know, there are quite a few fish that prefer to feed from uh, uh, the middle of the tank or even down towards the bottom. So anyway, here's the uh, fruit infuser in this particular uh, situation. I believe it's filled with uh, ocean krill. And you can see all the fish in the aquarium. Fish that uh, feed at all levels within the aquarium are feasting on the, uh, the uh, freeze-dried krill. 
Same thing with my 340-gallon. I have a number, number of cichlids and catfish and placos that uh, prefer to feed at the mid-level uh, and towards the bottom of the aquarium. Now, for fish that uh, will eat from the surface, like my uh, garamis, I have a, a, a DIY, large DIY uh, feeding ring that I've uh, constructed into which I drop a handful of the krill and it keeps them at the top. So anyway, hope this was helpful. Hope you try freeze-dried foods and look forward to your comments.